Hi everybody, I am Katie, the Crafty Blog Stalker, and today we are going to be making a Christmas gift card holder using our Cricut cutting machine. If you are new, make sure to subscribe and ring that bell so you'll be notified every time I release a new craft tutorial video. We are going to start in Cricut Design Space and I have my design all ready to go. And don't worry, you can use this canvas as well. I'll link to it in both the video description and in the blog post. I have it sized to fit the standard gift card size, so it looks ready to go. Let's go ahead and click on Make It. And then this is just a matte preview. I'm gonna click on Continue again. It's gonna to connect to my maker. But don't worry, if you have an Explorer, you can still do this project. I'm going to be using cardstock, and then down here it tells me the tools that I'm going to be using. I've got the scoring wheel that I'm gonna put in first. Now, if you're using an Explorer, this is when you would use the scoring stylus instead of the scoring wheel because it is not compatible with the Explorer. So I'm gonna start by putting that scoring wheel in that clamp and it has that number zero one. And so that's how I know this is the scoring wheel. And I'm going to load my mat with my red paper. Click the play button to go. Without unloading the mat, we're going to add our foil sheet. And according to that mat preview, it needed to be between four and seven. So I am good right there. And then the foil sheets come with these stickers to hold it in place. I like to cut them in half so they last a little bit longer. We're just gonna place those around the foil to hold it in place. Then we're going to grab our foil tip and I'm going to be using the three. It's a little bit bolder and you can tell it's three because it has those three stripes there on the tip. So I'm gonna put that in there. And then we are ready to apply the foil. Now that it's done with the foil, we're going to remove this sheet. Now we do not want to unload the mat. We want to leave the mat in, loaded. Woo, look how cool. So pretty. And now we are ready to cut. So I'm going to take out the scoring tip and put in our blade. And now we can unload the mat. We're done with our Cricut, so we can put that away. When removing the paper, you'll want to turn the mat over and remove the mat from the paper. This will keep your paper from curling. And here are our pieces. Look at how pretty that gold foil is. Oh, I love it so much. Okay, now we're going to take a bone folder and we're just gonna fold over those score lines. The bone folder just helps you get a really nice fold without any wrinkling or bunching or anything like that. Now I'm gonna bring in my double-sided adhesive and we're just going to add some glue there to each of those folds. And then fold it up and press into place. And there is our gift card holder. Isn't that cute? Now if you want, it does cut out this piece right here so that you can put your gift card there on that piece. Let's go ahead and do that. I've got some glue dots. We're just gonna add that glue dot there to the back. Just 
center our generic coffee card on that piece of paper like that and then you could even write something on here if you wanted and then slide that in there you go isn't that so stinking cute i love the gold foil on there I want to thank you for watching today and invite you to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming tutorials. And of course, you can always find me at my home base at thecraftyblogstalker.com. Thanks, everybody. Bye and happy crafting.